What's up folks? Hey, welcome back to the channel, Fishing by the Numbers. It's your boy, Will. And today I am continuing the exploratory phase of Lake Houston. Folks, I am out here in the river channel. I'm just getting out here trying to figure out exactly where these fish are, where the structure is. And um, hey, get on as many crappie as I can. That last video, unfortunately, y'all didn't get to see the catch, but I caught my biggest crappie ever at about 16 inches. And I mean, that fish, I didn't have a scale. I wish I did, but I'm pretty sure it was over two pounds. I've caught two pound crappie before, and that one felt every bit about the same weight. But folks, hey, out here today, looking to get on these fish, can't wait to find more structure and have more places to fish when I come out to this area. So folks, hey, once again, greatly appreciate y'all tagging along for this trip. Greatly appreciate all the likes, comments, and the subs. Hey, keep them coming for your boy. You know I love it. Guys, stick around and I'll see y'all when I get to a spot. Let's get it. If you guys follow the channel, you already know that, I mean, I, I don't consider myself an expert, but I'm definitely no slouch um, when it comes to fishing. This is something I've been doing my whole life. I mean, my entire life. Now, albeit a little bit different style now that I got the kayak and a live scope, but hey, that just means I got better tools um, to be able to track these fish down. So, so far, so good. Now folks, hey, per usual, starting out with my magic bait. Again, you cannot find this bait by searching magic bait on Google. You're not gonna find it. You want this bait, holler at me. I'll tell you exactly where to get it. I always like using my bait caster, so I'm using the Cast King Speed Demon, paired off with my eight foot ACC. Got that one 32nd ounce jig head, an eighth ounce split shot. Standard setup, folks. I will upsize that split shot and that jig head size if I'm fishing in deeper water and I'm trying to get down a little bit further, but out here, that is not a concern. Um, water depth that I'm fishing in right now is around 10 foot. Um, so definitely don't don't need much more than that. But folks, I'm gonna go ahead and get this baited up and get dropped down. I mean, I haven't haven't gotten that far yet from my launch point, and I'm already marking fish, finding new structure. So, guys, it might be a good trip. So let's get down there and see what we can get. There's one. Good crappie too, folks. Just a hey, just another good one, y'all. Just another good one. There he is. Good old 11 and a half. Going in the box. I'll take that. Yeah, he's gonna make a little noise. He ain't happy to be in there, but that was a nice fish, y'all. And there's some bigger ones than that down in this structure. So I'm gonna get down in there and see if I can't get another one out. Another one. Oh yeah. Get on up in here, y'all. That's a good keeper hybrid crappie right there, y'all. It's a nice one. That is a looks like a hybrid black hybrid crappie right there. Now the reason why I think that is because when you look at these fish, folks, you don't see a whole bunch of whole bunch of uh spots on them and you can't really see any defined vertical bars but the real way to tell is look at these dorsal fins one two three four five six spikes on his back and he's got that many spots no no defined vertical bars i think the black crappie might have seven 
So, beautiful fish, folks. He is going in the box, too. All right, guys. I have stumbled across some fish here. Some nice fish as well. So, I'm going to mosey on up just a little bit. See if I can't get a couple in the boat on camera for y'all been able to pull up a few but I see some really good ones right up in here I mean I see a really good one right here at about four to six feet I'm trying to keep him lit up let's see if we can get him in the boat oh I'm not sure if I passed him or what good chance that I did he is hanging out right by this tree. And every time I get in a good position, my boat moves on me, y'all. My boat is saving these fish a lot more than, than they know. I mean, it is really saving them. kayak come on do you not want me to catch these fish kayak i don't think my kayak wants me to catch these fish y'all oh there he comes there he goes oh that is definitely a uh, white bass yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a white bass. It's a good one. Really good white bass, too. We'll get them in the boat. Long, skinny fish. He's a long one. Check that out, y'all. Skinny, too. Goodness gracious, dude. I don't know what's up with you. You got the, he's thick enough to get in the box though, y'all. We'll let him make it in there. I don't want him to go crazy with those uh, crappie. Get to jumping around and causing too much commotion. I'm gonna back up just a little bit because I think I see some crappie right under me. They're kind of stacked up. Back me up, boat. Back me up, baby. Back me up. Come on. There you go. another keeper I think calm down dude you're not getting off you're not getting off yep that is a ten and a half inch crappie We'll let him get in the box. Nothing wrong with that, folks. That's just a good keeper fish. He gonna eat just like the other ones. Let's get down there and get us another one. Just putting two crappie nibbles on there. Today I'm using the silver ones. 
I really don't care that much, man. I can use white, chartreuse, whatever color. I really don't care. I use them all. They all do the same thing. They add scent. And then the uh, ones with the glitter on them, once you drop them in the water, that glitter rinses off pretty quick anyway. It don't stick. It's mostly to catch the eye of the purchaser. That's it. Check it out. I put it in the water for a little bit. A lot of that glitter's gone anyway. Let's try them again, y'all. Got him. Got him. That's just a good old 11. Good keeper size. Look, he's throwing my nibbles. Oh, he left me one. There he goes, y'all. Nothing huge. No big slabs today, folks, but the day is not over. He's going in the box. Yeah, folks, the day is not over. I definitely want to get me at least one or two slabs, even if I got my limit already and I'm not taking them home. I just want to at least catch one or two slabs before I call it quits. I would love for them to come off this pile right here. I see some down there that look pretty good size. Just got to back up a little bit. Try to get down there on them. Got him. Get in the boat, buddy. Get in the boat, buddy. Y'all saw me work that fish, man. He hit, he came at it at first, turned away. Dropped back down on him, got him. Good 11, going in the box. Got him. Oh yeah, we can give him a good old flip, flip a rooski. Hey, nothing but just good tens and elevens today, y'all. I'm not mad at it. I don't, I don't mind catching keeper crappie. Calm down, my dude. You are on the hook. Just a good 10, 10 and a quarter, almost 10 and a half. He's box worthy. Usually like him a little bit bigger than this, folks, but hey, it's all right. He can make it today. I am fishing four numbers today, trying to get that limit. Got him <laughs> Oh yeah, he was down there chilling. He was down there chilling. I know y'all saw that. I just dropped that bait right down on him. That's an 11. It's an 11. Good enough fish. He'll go in the box. That last Lake Somerville video that I posted, I'm sure y'all saw me catch that hybrid. That hybrid was mixed in with crappie. Some big cats down here too. Good 
Here we go, cats, just creeping around. Yeah, that's a white bass. He followed it, but he didn't want it. We'll take him. Oh! <laughs> he fell, literally, fell in my lap, y'all. Calm down, bud. You're cooler worthy. There he is. Just a 10. Maybe 10 and a half. See what I'm saying, y'all? A lot of times, crappie mix in with those white bass. They hang out together. There is a little piece of structure here uh, that I overlooked, y'all. There's another crappie. Another box size, y'all. Nothing too big. All right, folks. I need one more crappie to round out this limit. See if I can get it real quick. I believe these are all crappie right here. And I would like a slab. I would like a slab. I don't know if I'm going to get one, but let's see what we can get first. Oh, hold up. Speaking of slab, this might be him. Oh, I don't know if that's a crappie, y'all. I don't know if that's a crappie, but we're going to back up and see. Might be another white bass. I've caught a few of those today. Where'd he go? Oh, I lost him. Uh-oh. 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 What's that? Big old drum? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Big old drum too. I don't want him. I thought it was a cat. Come on, baby. I wouldn't be mad if he came off. That's a good one though. That's a good one. We'll get them in the net. Oh. Y'all, this, this rain just came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Was not expecting this. I did not bring a raincoat. Y'all, it was hotter than all. Get out. All of a sudden, I heard the wind pick up and I looked up. All of a sudden, we got rain. I ain't mad at it because we absolutely need it, that's for sure. But my goodness, y'all, it came out of nowhere. Oh, folks, man. Gotta say, had a good time today. The only problem was that I got rained out. As y'all saw, man, it came down. Oh, it came down. And there wasn't even rain in the forecast, y'all. So, or maybe it was and I just I just ignored it. I don't know. It looked like there wasn't gonna even be a slight chance of rain, but obviously I was dead wrong. Um, Cause I got drenched and it came down really hard for about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. Um, that was the first time I really ex experienced 
piercing rain. I mean, piercing rain. As I'm as I'm going on my kayak, a whopping four miles per hour, I feel those raindrops stinging me. And then the wind picked up. It got really bad out there. I was a little bit nervous for a second, uh, but thankfully I was able to get back into the dock safely. Um, folks, I ended up catching a limited crappie and I got a few white bass and a big drum, probably about two and a half, three pound uh, uh, freshwater drum, AKA Gasper Goo. So folks, hey, it was overall, a successful trip i got out here like i said i was just doing a recon mission trying to find spots and i found several spots and uh unfortunately i didn't get to land a bunch of big slabs today but i got a whole bunch of nice box size fish and uh you know they will definitely make for some very good table fare so folks hey once again i greatly appreciate y'all checking out today's video go ahead and do me a favor if you haven't already smash that like button below subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified for all future content folks hey once again i greatly appreciate you and i will catch you on the next one peace